Now let us try to discuss the current and voltage sensitivity of galvanometers. We have the equation of the galvanometer as 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 the operating torque we have seen as MABI and that is restrained by the helical spring which generates its own opposite restraining torque we call it a restraining torque of k theta so that theta is equal to n a b upon k into i right. now if i try to find out theta upon i theta upon i that becomes n a b upon k supposedly a constant for a galvanometer that is designed and delivered to you. Now we define current sensitivity, right? So, so, so we are trying to discuss current sensitivity, and as the name suggests, it has something to do with how sensitive a galvanometer is to a current. And what do we mean by how sensitive? That means the sensitivity of the galvanometer can only be reflected in terms of the deflection it shows, right? Not, not the minimum deflection. See, if we have two galvanometers, okay, both are carrying the same amount of current and one of the galvanometers is kind of here and the other galvanometer is is kind of this okay and, and the current they are carrying say say let us say this 0 0.01 ampere of current that we carry both of them so which is more sensitive this one the second one right because for the same current it has it has swung by a larger angle so if if theta is the same right if if uh, i'm sorry if i is the same the larger the theta more is the sensitivity okay or let us say both of them let me let me kind of erase this both of them are showing both of them are sh are, are showing the same deflection okay they are showing the same deflection but this is showing it for for 0 0.01 ampere of current and this is showing it for this is showing it for point zero zero eight amperes okay so if if theta is the same if, if so so if theta is the same and i is less this value is larger okay so that's why i i define my current sensitivity as theta upon i here too i saw that if for the, the current is the same and theta is larger then whichever is larger that shows shows the shows more sensitivity so theta upon i should be a figure of merit to reflect the current sensitivity what do i mean by figure of merit that means the higher this value more is the characteristic that it shows right so so and and theta upon i once we decide that current sensitivity is nothing but theta upon i right so so current sensitivity sensitivity is equal to theta upon i okay and theta upon i is nothing but n a b upon k now if i want to increase the value of the lhs i should be able to increase the value of the rhs okay so so what do i do to increase the current sensitivity to increase the current sensitivity what should we do okay. 
so so the first thing that strikes us is why not increase the number of terms right increase m the second thing that we can do is to increase the area of the coil is it not either increase this or increase this the third thing that we should we, we, that strikes us as as what should be done is is that we should increase the value of the b right and the fourth thing that we that strikes us is decrease the value of a is it not now let us see what happens if we do either of them so 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 let us say i decide to increase n what do i have to do on soft core i have to wind more wires right mm -hmm. now that is not much difficult a job that can actually be done so this is a valid thing to do to increase the current sensitivity now to increase a okay and we have seen yesterday uh, the the last lectures that 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 a depends on the dia of the soft iron core okay because the dia of the soft iron core and the length of the core right so so what happens is if you if you decide to do that then you have to increase the dimension of this soft iron core mm -hmm. and if you do that let's say if you increase the dia you also have to to change the magnets right because because magnets are are made in such a way that the that the that the distance this this distance remains uniform the air gap remains a constant mm -hmm. now the moment you so so it's dia and it's radius of curvature of the magnet and the radius of curvature of the of the of the cylinder they are the same then only that can happen mm -hmm. now if it changes if you if you decide to increase the radius of this cylinder then this 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 will become non uniform the air gap will become non uniform and hence you will have to change the magnet as well mm -hmm. okay also if you increase the length of this you have to change the magnet rewind the whole thing right so so it's like building the whole galvanometer afresh normally that is not what we intend to do so though this is technically correct normally it is not followed okay increasing b okay increasing b means you do not disturb anything you just change this magnet with a stronger one mm -hmm. that also is a is a pretty costly affair to do so though technically feasible we also normally don't do that just to increase the sensitivity it's as good as building the whole of the galvanometer afresh reducing k also seems to be feasible but as you go ahead and and study the 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 dynamics of the needle if you reduce this the the spring constant a lot this becomes an oscillating ammeter or galvanometer right in what sense that before it settles here since the restraining torque is very very small it will keep on swinging about the mean point so it will go like that go like that and keep on doing that now that becomes extremely irritating when we have to take a lot of values it is a time consuming process okay so so this actually alters the dynamics of the of the pointer so normally not done but can be done because it's a very very simple thing to do you just replace the spring and you don't do anything with anyone so this is also something that can be done but only after seeing the dynamics of the of the needle right and if it is uh, oscillating too much you should not resort to it so these are the ways of increasing the current sensitivity technically all four are feasible mm -hmm. but practically speaking we only kind of concentrate on these two then comes the voltage sensitivity and and the fundamental still remains the same what would i do so phi was equal to 
एन ए बी अपॉन के राइट के नाउ देर इज अ ट्रबल देर इज नो वोल्टेज टर्म हियर सो वट वी डू वी काइंड ऑफ इंट्रोड्यूस दैट टर्म फाइन सो सो आई इंट्रोड्यूस्ड आई इंट्रोड्यूस अ वी एंड देन दिस ओके सो वॉट है एंड दिस वी अपॉन आई इज नथिंग बट आ द रेजिस्टेंस राइट सो आई राइट v upon i or i upon v as 1 by r so this whole thing can be written as n a b upon k r into v okay that is your for phi or theta whatever okay we have been calling it a theta so let this be theta right now here to our current sensitivity is our voltage sensitivity is defined as voltage sensitivity should be defined as theta upon v okay and and theta upon v is nothing but n a b upon k r okay so how do i increase the voltage sensitivity sensitivity to increase the voltage sensitivity let's keep this equation in front of us and we can say that we can increase n right but okay so we can increase n but there is a trap here if you increase n r also increases in the, in in the, in the same proportion so what happens though it seems to be changing something but it actually does not no right so so this is absolutely not feasible this was actually feasible earlier in current sensitivity but for voltage sensitivity increasing the number of turns will do nothing okay do it looks that it it will it, do something right the second thing is increase the a which again has the same kind of problems we discussed earlier so normally not done okay so we can increase b which is again kind of redesigning it so normally not done but if you want to do you can do that right so because because we have hardly anything to kind of vouch for so so reducing the spring constant should be done but only with with a pinch of salt and after having tested for the pointer dynamics right and reducing our okay reducing r and n they are kind of kind of the same thing if 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 you want to kind of reduce r by by reducing its length then n will also reduce right so so since there is hardly anything to increase the voltage sensitivity maybe maybe these two either of these two can be thought of but but you should always understand that they are a cumbersome thing to do they can be thought of but they can be cumbersome right correct so that is how you increase the current or the voltage sensitivity of a galvanometer 